Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. There is an auction house that's about seven or eight miles away from my house. And it's actually owned and operated by a friend of mine from high school. Um, this is early April and last night they had their first auction of the season. So of course I showed up. Say hi to my friend Ted and also look for some fun stuff. Um, it's a small house, but they always have really good auctions. They always have some fun things there. So I want to show you what I got and teach a couple lessons. Ready? Of course, I'm always looking at books. Um, now, I did not cherry-pick any of these, um, and they had other lots of books also that I did not bid on, um, but uh, I, what caught my eye here is just the fact that these are old cookbooks. So like this Farm Journal Country Cookbook, I sold one of those last year for uh, 20 bucks um, at Better Homes and Gardens. Always does well. Uh, this, Margaret Rudkin Pepperidge Farm Cookbook, I just looked that up. Lowest FBA is six seventeen dollars uh, good rank. The Spice Cookbook, just looked that up too. Lowest FBA is $15. Greek Mies Cooking, lowest FBA is $20 with good ranks. And in this box here is a book that I also sold last year for $30. So, you know, I paid $2 per box for these. Um, now, that's one thing that I do at auctions is um, I'm there to make margin okay so i'm just buying stuff as cheap as i can i'm not looking for uh special things now let me show you what else i got i got some electronics here um this is a magnavox dvd vcr player uh, these are always good money this has regular sold listings on ebay for 35 40 bucks um, i paid two dollars this little rival heater has several sold listings around 25 30 bucks and um, i paid three dollars for that Rival Crock-Pot, look for these, guys. If you see these, especially with the designs, you know, or the vintage 70s colors on them, you know, make sure the lid doesn't have any chips or anything. Um, but these are usually good money. This has several sold listings, right around $30, and uh, I paid 2 bucks for it. Now, what's interesting is in the sold listings, there are even more listings for just the parts, you know, like just the lid by itself, just the, the crock by itself, or just the electronic base by itself. So uh, sometimes you can make more money uh, parting it out than you can buying the whole thing. Here's another VCR. Always uh, look for these four head VCRs. Man, those are those are great. I paid two bucks for this. Regular sold listings, 25 bucks. I don't think the... V, uh, the videotape is going to do anything for me and i waited around till the end of the auction because i saw they had an ibm selectric for sale and i bought this for five dollars several sold listings on ebay um right around 60 bucks so um now let me let me talk for a minute about what i just said uh i just said that my strategy at auctions is i'm there for margin okay most of the people at auctions are there to treasure hunt, okay? They're there to find a prize. You know, they want specific things. And yeah, when I go to auctions, there's some really pretty things that, that I'd like to get. But they end up, you know, a lot of them end up going for more than what I wanted to pay. For example, there was a stack of records that I was interested in because I saw um, at least one rare blues album in it. Um, but mentally, I set my ceiling price at 20 bucks and the bidding went over 20 dollars so i didn't win that lot um so when you go to auctions the main thing to have as your mindset is set your price in your head and don't regret when you don't get it because you know if you're there just focusing on margin like me then you're going to end up uh making some good money because that, that's what i'm there for you know i'm not there to treasure hunt i'm there to make my mortgage payment so i don't think i quite made my mortgage payment here but i certainly paid my electric bill um, my total bill last night was $24, and uh, you heard the prices I can sell these things for. I easily made a few hundred profit. So, auction fun. I love going to auctions. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.